Hey, Nest here. Ever wanted to build a starter base? But watch tutorials and they use like 17,521 different materials? Well, you've come to the right place, but first... While we're on the topic, not that we were on the topic, but we are now, don't forget to subscribe, because you'd light up my life, or at least help me make my jokes better. On to the building. We're starting with a really simple palette. We're using two different types of wood and a little bit of stone. I like to make a foundation for my house and I do like to use odd numbers. I feel like when you're building a house and using odd numbers when you're just beginning building in Minecraft, it's things like placing doors and windows and roofs, just that little bit easier. So here you can see I'm going by a five by seven little foundation for our house. Counting in Minecraft can be super hard. I got it right, but I thought I got it wrong. So I had to delete and put it straight back again. But you know, we get that. I'm not doing any texturing at the minute. We're just going to build a very solid little starter house. And then we'll look at making it prettier a little bit later on. I'm using the spruce as the foundation. The holding beams of the house so we're just putting those in the corner and making the foundation a little bit better we're going to fill in the middle with some birch now look unpopular opinion i actually kind of like birch wood let's see this come together The size of my house going upwards, I like to have three blocks because the door is too high and I like to have three blocks so that the fourth block is kind of like the ceiling. I think it gives a nice, I don't like the feeling of bumping my head inside my Minecraft house. I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of like keeping my head free. Okay, okay, let's go and have a look what we've done. All right, all right, that's looking very house box-like. But I think that wood is a little bit too dark against the birch. So let's go in, grab an axe, and we're gonna strip it. Stripped spruce wood, hmm. Is there anything better in Minecraft? So we'll do this, uh, just to blend the wood in more with the birch and see how we go from here. Now we're going to start on something that a lot of people find intimidating when first starting to build in Minecraft, and that is making a roof. Now making a roof in Minecraft does not have to be hard. We're going to use some stairs, very basic stairs and maybe some slabs at the top of our roof here. I am trying to show how you would do this in survival as much as I can. I am doing this in creative, but there's nothing worse than watching a tutorial that that's in survival. I, I should say in creative and they're flying around the place and you're just like how what the heck am I going to do this in in survival like I can't I can't fly to place things so I'm getting myself a crafting table so that I can craft myself some spruce stairs spruce stairs can be a little bit expensive I think it's like six planks to four stairs so it's not like using the stone cutter to um to make stone I'm going to also use a little bit of dirt to like pillar and things so I'm not flying in the air I show you how I use blocks to get up height because I'm not going to have scaffolding in early game. I'm going to start my stairs, my roof, a few blocks down from the top. Now this is what gives it a little bit of shape. I'm here just sort of looking at my build thinking where would the roof be good to start? So I think in this one I go down two from the top and I just place a normal stair. You place the stair here. And then we also come out to give it a bit more dynamic and come out one on the edge. And I'm going to take this all the way across. I've come down to the front of the house and on that first overlapping stair, put an upside down stair. It's going to serve for the next layer of my roof. Just like a placeholder. So I come across and uh, place another stair on top. 
And then we're going to take that all the way along, which will mean deleting some of the blocks along that line there when we first made our base. Stair trick again. Turn around, place an upside down stair, and another layer across. And again, upside down stair, another layer across. The idea with this is we're trying to get up to the center. We're gonna have each side even and, and looking very similar. So here I am just realizing that this is a center here, this, this one that we're up to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off the roof and we're gonna repeat exactly what we've done on this side on the other side of the house. So I'm at the center part. Sometimes this takes a little bit of working out to see how you actually want it to look. So I'm gonna try a slab here, just a spruce slab. I'll need to put it on top of the stair first so that I'm gonna delete that one. And I'm gonna bring those slabs all the way across through the center and then we'll jump down and we'll have a look at it. Sometimes when we're up here and we don't have a good perspective of what the build is looking like, we need to go back and sort of fix, fix things up a little bit. So you can see here from where I'm building, I'm missing a couple of the upside down stairs. So I'm gonna go in and pop them in. You can see how quickly it, it looks similar to the other side. Now this doesn't look quite right to me. I feel like the top of the roof is up a little bit too high. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna play around a little bit with the slabs, maybe with a plank, we'll just see. So I brought that slab down one. It is looking a little bit better and I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna put one more down. Okay, that's looking good. So I need to get up there and uh, change the rest of them. Okay, that's looking much better. We're going to go in here and just fill in these little holes with uh, spruce for the minute, just to see what it looks like with with a full roof on. That's looking good. That's looking good. Let's go around to the other side and see what's going on here. And um, we'll do the same. We've got a few upside down stairs missing as well, so just patch them up as we go. So here is some of my favorite things to do. We're gonna go in and decide where we're gonna put windows. On both sides of the house, I'm gonna put them in the center, I think. Just because we've got the three there and I like symmetry. I do like symmetry, but we're not gonna do that with the door because I want a window on the front too. So I'm gonna put the door off to the side, just a little window there. So we'll go in, we're gonna get some glass, gonna put it in those windows and possibly get a spruce door to put on the door frame. Now we're up to one of my favorite parts, texturing. I like to do this when I finish the build. We're gonna have a look at the stripped birch log and the planks together. They go well. I mean, they are from the same tree. So we're gonna come in and replace some of the planks with the stripped birch log. It just creates a little bit of dynamic and a little bit of shape. I'm gonna grab a stair here because I feel like under the window, it's too flat, like we need a do a little bit dynamic to this wall. Place upside down stair. Voila, look at it. 
We're going to come through and we're going to do that all around. We'll probably even, you know what, I think I'm going to change above the door with the stair as well, just to give it a little bit more shape. We're going to do that all the way around the house. So there's something that I've realized walking around this house is that the roof doesn't really have a lot of dynamic. So what I've decided to do is grab those birch stairs. I'm gonna leave like a border in the spruce, but I'm gonna come in with the birch stairs just to give the roof a little bit of a dynamic. So we'll just change the first two layers of stairs. I think maybe, maybe even into the third. It'll be easy to see as we sort of go up. Yeah, that, that's probably a bit too wide. So we're going to change the third layer to the birch stairs as well. And then we might even raise that top little bit with a spruce plank, just up half a block. Ah, that is much better. I really, this is really coming together well. All right, let's get rid of our blocks here. Now I'm gonna get some different kind of stones into my hotbar. Any stones will do for this. You'll see the effect as we do it, but I'm just gonna get some stone that you can have early game, some smooth stone, some stone brick, some cobblestone and some mossy cobblestone. And we're gonna extend our little patio a little bit to give us a little easier entryway into our house. Now I'm gonna place these blocks kind of random and you'll be able to see the cool effect that it makes. So I've just placed the cobblestone down as kind of a guide of where I want the patio to be. Now I'm placing some stairs where I want the entry. Use a little bit of detailing like a wall. I really enjoy Minecraft walls and use them for many, many different types of building requirements. So let's get the wall placed down and then I'm going to go through and texture just like we did for the walls of the house, replacing some of the cobble and things along the way. I'm going to come through and add some details to the house. Now I'm not going to explain everything that I'm doing here but basically the items that I like to use are stairs, fences, lanterns, anything that can create a little bit of dynamic to the outside of the house. So here I'm just going to use some fences and go up. So watch what I do, the items that I use and how much it really changes and takes this this house from very basic starter house to, to cute and cozy cottage. Here we're going to be adding a little bit of detail to the outside. I'm just having a look in the creative menu at early game items. I think I'm going to grab some, first of all, texture of the outside of the house, but, but grab some trapdoors. They're really awesome for decorating. Maybe do a little bit of a garden or something here. We'll add those to the side and see how we go. You can see how it's really starting to take shape. This front needs a little bit more detail, so we're gonna go in with some more details with walls and fences and things.
that's really coming together. Now it's time to go inside. We'll see what we've got going on in there. We're gonna have to change this floor. I think we might go for the spruce floor to give it a bit of contrast with the birch. I think birch on the floor here would be a little bit too much. Then we're gonna add a ceiling and a few bits and pieces that we need for early game survival Minecraft. We're not gonna fit much in here, but it's just the right size to have the things that we need. Honestly, I think upside down stairs are one of my favorite things to build with in Minecraft. We're gonna use those for the base of our ceiling on the fourth block up from the wall. And then in the middle, we're gonna use another spruce slab. We're using spruce because of the contrast. Now it's time to add a few little details. Some lighting, which is really important. And a bed, crafting table, furnace. Maybe a few little trap doors for a little bit of decoration. There we have it. I mean, it's simple, but how cute is this? You could even, as you collect things, add a little bit of decoration to your walls, any kind of little details. So I now add a few little uh, little things. I think that uh, we need a bit of light out here. You know, lights, lights are a Minecrafter's best friend. I feel like something is missing. I feel like something is missing. Let's see what we can come up with here. a little idea for out here. I think our house is missing a chimney. I love the campfires because they let off those little puffs of smoke at the top and we can definitely make it blend into our house. Now a little trick what I will do is I'm going to put a torch inside this roof just in case spiders or something can spawn in there because I kind of don't like spiders and I don't like how they sound. So we're going to use a spruce plank there to give the chimney a bit of height. We're going to put a, a campfire on top of it and then we're just going to surround it by spruce trapdoors. And there we have it, a beautiful little starter home made from very basic supplies. I hope you like what you see today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is Nest. I'll see you next time. Bye.